What's up, everybody? I want to have this CMOS conversation. I get a, keep getting a lot of the same questions over and over. I'm constantly emailing and, and, and responding on YouTube. So I, let, let's, let's get into some of the things that I'm constantly getting asked. Um, while we do that, I want to show you something. This is green CMOS. This is, um, we're going to be selling that soon on RadarPlusNutrition.com. I've been in the process, process of testing it. If you can see, uh, I always tell you guys I take my CMOS usually by spoon. Um, I'm testing, well, I've been testing it for a few weeks. I'm taking my daily dose. This is the green CMOS. This will be available soon. So this is the green CMOS. This is gold CMOS. This is Irish CMOS, Crondus Crispus. Um, so I'm going to break these things down. So, and I'm going to be eating this as we go because I want to show, first, I just need to take it. Plus, I want to show people who don't really understand CMOS is not bad. It's not nasty. It's not disgusting. It's not stressful or hard to take. So I'm going to be finishing up. Um, I already took two of the, um, uh, two, two spoonfuls of it. So I'm just going to finish what I have in this to finish this off. So um, <clears throat> I also want to, while we start, I want to show you. I want to show you the difference for people who don't know. This is the gold, the Irish, and the um, the green sea moss. Um, I'm going to rehydrate it right now so you can see the difference. So I'm going to pour the water in now. And as we're talking, it'll start to rehydrate. It's not going to fully hydrate because it takes some time, but you'll get to see. You'll get to see. So we'll, we'll, we'll let that sit as we're talking. We'll come back to that in a few minutes. So... One of the things that I get a lot is people are always asking, um, what is the difference? Because th there's this, this confusion of, like I said, Irish sea moss, I said the gold sea moss, the green sea moss. So this is the differences. This right here, the Irish sea moss. And you can see, for those that don't know, it grows on rocks. And you can see right here, it has rocks on it. I hope that's in focus. So I'm going to show you once these hydrate in a second. So Irish sea mosses, all sea moss is commonly called Irish sea moss, okay? But only this one is actually Irish sea moss. Now, the difference being the gold sea moss, for instance, is Gracilaria. It, it, there's a whole bunch of different species of sea moss, just so you know. But the most common ones are Crondus crispus. A lot of people know Irish sea moss and Crondus crispus because they heard Dr. Sabi speak about it. But Dr. Sabi was actually wrong or confused when he was speaking on the, on, on, on the different ones. So when he was talking about Crondus crispus, Irish sea moss, he was holding up a lot of times the gold sea moss. This is found in the Caribbean and warm water sea moss. It's, it's warm water sea moss versus the Irish sea moss, Crondus crispus, this is cold water sea moss. It's a, it's a whole different species from a different region. So um, now you have Gracilaria, which is the gold. And it's another one. It's called, I always get the name. I don't say the name right. or I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. But it's, it's, a, it's a Shumia Contini or something like that. It's, hard, it's, it's weird to pronounce. <clears throat> now, it's very similar to the Gracilaria. So... A lot of times people don't bother trying to distinguish because it's very hard to distinguish. They're very, very similar. So most people just call all of those um, Gracilaria, but they're different. Now, the, nu 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 the nutrition differences, it varies. So a lot of people will tell you the Irish sea moss is the strongest, it's the best, and this and that. It's all this, this, this debate and this, this conflict. Here's the thing, truthfully, from what I found through my research and my years of using the sea moss. Um, there are actual differences as far as the composition and the different things that's in it. But it also varies on the, just like crops, just like I tell you, if you follow my stuff with black seed oil and, and, and the seeds, it's the same type of thing. It all depends on the conditions, the region, the time of year. All those variations factor into all that stuff. So unless you're getting every batch tested, all the time, you're never going to know it, what is exactly and which one and this one's stronger. You're never really going to know. So we just got to stick to the basics of what we know about these different sea mosses. OK, now. Um, so just to just to finalize the, the difference in the species, Gracilaria and Ashumia, that's these. OK, we're not going to figure out which one right now. It doesn't matter. We're just going to call everything Gracilaria for now. Okay, that's these. These are warm water. This is the actual Crondus crispus. 
That's actual Irish sea moss, okay? So which one is better? Again, we don't really know, to be real with you. But most people consider the Irish sea moss to be the stronger one. Now, let me show you some of the differences. The, the gold sea moss is the same exact thing as the purple, the, 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 the green, and the, the full spectrum. You get the different color spectrums naturally when it's growing in the water, okay? Um, when the sun hits it, it bleaches it. So a lot of people ask, oh, is it bleached? There's no, there's no, people don't use chemicals to bleach it. And if you want to ever try this for yourself, get some um, sea moss with some pigment and just sit it in the sun. You'll see that it changes very quickly. So when they're drying out the sea moss, um, it, it turns gold. Even when it's in the water, naturally, if it's getting a certain amount of light, it turns gold. So that's all natural. Now, the differences in the pigments is the green sea moss, for instance, has a lot of chlorophyll. So if you know what chlorophyll does, it's like a detoxer. It does certain things. Um, it's heavy in chlorophyll versus the, the gold sea moss. It has some chlorophyll, but mostly it's out because that pigment holds um, those actual nutrients. So when you have like gold sea, um, uh, purple sea moss, for instance, and even some of the green, it has more phytonutrients, which is like antioxidants and stuff like that. So the pigments do make a difference and the different sea mosses have different you know, purposes and different benefits, okay? But the gold is still super strong. It's super popular. Most people know about the gold. And if you've been using the gold, you know it still does some things, but these are the differences. So um, even the Irish sea moss, this, you know, it has the, the purple pigment to it. So you're going to get those different um, phytonutrients and stuff like that. That's one thing. Now, there's this thing that people um, get confused about pool grown sea moss versus the natural, you know, the way it's grown on the rock. So let me let me break some of this down. Actual pool grown sea moss is extremely rare. Meaning it's 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 grown in like a big pool, like the a, 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 un, a natural man-made pool, kind of the way they harvest um, um, fish, right? That doesn't really happen. So take that out of your mind. It's not actually grown in a pool somewhere. That's no. Now there is fake sea moss, and we're gonna get to that. It's not fake, but it's 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 processed, and we're gonna get to that. But there's this thing with people um, in the Caribbean. They harvest it naturally, and then there's some people that um, they, they grow it on the ropes. So some people who know, they say, oh, well, I don't like the stuff on the ropes. Here's the truth. As I showed you, and I'm, as I told you, and I'm going to show you right here, the sea moss grows naturally on rocks, okay? So you see that, right? Now, it is assumed, people will tell you that when they embed themselves on the rocks, they're drawing the nutrients out of the rocks. They're, they're, they're getting this ancient DNA and all this stuff. All of that sounds cool, but that hasn't realistically been proven, okay? And there's no actual facts to say that that actually happened. So I can't tell you if that's real or, or it's not. But what I can tell you over the years of, of doing my research, working with sea moss is, um, the sea moss that is grown on ropes, it is just as nutritious as the sea moss that's naturally grown on rocks. Because the truth is the sea moss gets the majority of its mineral content, its nutrients through the seawater, okay? So all this debate of, you know, I don't want my stuff that's growing on the ropes and this and that, most of the time, to be honest with you, unless you went out there for yourself or you're working directly with the harvesters that, that pull this stuff in, you don't know where your sea moss is coming from. Most of the people that are selling the sea moss to you, they're not going to tell you if they get it off the ropes, if, if it's being grown off the ropes. They're not going to tell you that because they're trying to sell you something and it's part of their marketing scheme. And they know most people are not going to want that, the people who are in the know. But the, also the people who are really in the know, they know that there, there doesn't seem to be a real difference. So if, if you're stressing over, oh, I don't want it because it's grown on the rocks, trust me. If you've been using sea moss and, and grassalaria, I've never seen the, the Crondus crisp is grown that way. Okay? If it, if it does exist, I don't know. I'm just saying I've never seen it. But I've definitely seen and used the... the, the, the um, the sea moss that's grown on the ropes and the ones that's harvested straight off the rocks. And I haven't noticed a difference. So 
I, I just want to clear, and, and there's gonna be there's gonna be people out there that will argue to the death. But I'm telling you from my experience and research, it's all the same, honestly. So I'm trying to dispel some of these things because a lot of this stuff comes down to marketing. And again, like I said, if you are not testing every single batch consistently and all the different ones, you're never really going to know. And no one's doing that because it's super expensive and no one has the time or the resources for that. So um, that's one thing. So let me start. Let me show you. This stuff is starting to hydrate. So you see the difference now. This is the gold sea moss when it's starting to, to rehydrate. Okay. This is the green. And then you see the iris. You see this is a completely different looking. It's completely different, right? This is the iris. This is Crondus crispus. I hope that's in focus. So you see it's a completely different type of sea moss. Completely different look, all of that stuff. Now, the one thing with the Irish sea moss is, if you get this, it does rehydrate quicker, a lot quicker. So you don't necessarily have to do this, um, soak it over overnight or for eight hours. This hydrate, like this is good now. I, I would leave it in maybe another 15 minutes, maybe, and then it, this is fine. Maybe a little 20 minutes, but this is fine. This, this rehydrates real quick because it has a whole different composition versus the green and the gold. Even though you see that it's rehydrated versus what you see in the background, this is still, I would leave it a little bit longer. So it still needs to fully rehydrate um, before you start to blend it. So that's um, some of the stuff. Let me take this real quick because I told you, I want to show you guys this is not stressful. Now, when it comes to your to your, to your your moss gel, that you, everybody has a different consistency, how you like it. I always tell people I like my sea moss as, as a, like an applesauce consistency. It's easier for me to take, but you make it however you want. You make it thick, you can make it looser. Um, and I also, I like to take it this way by spoon. Um, and I like it room temperature, so I usually bring it out and let it sit. For some reason, I can't swallow it when it's full gel and when it's cold. So look, this is the green sea moss. We're going to be selling it soon on Radar Plus Nutrition. No big deal. You don't see me stressed out. It's not nasty. It doesn't smell crazy. It's not hard to take. It's not difficult. This is my third spoonful. I'm trying to finish this. My fourth one. So don't listen to these people. When you know, I'm not swallowing no candy or drinking no juice behind it to kill the taste. You see, it's it's nothing. It really doesn't taste like anything. So don't let people make you afraid because they're afraid. Um, so that's that. So when it comes back to the different sea mosses, now from using it personally, I always tell people I've been using these different ones consistently. Um, the one that I use the most is the Irish sea moss. Um, and then after that, my favorite one is the purple. But I can't honestly tell you in about three or four years, maybe five years of using sea moss that I, I really don't notice a difference in the iris, the gold, personally, I don't really see a difference. The one thing that I do notice the difference is with the green, because my body reacts to um, 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 chlorophyll. I used to take the liquid chlorophyll, and my body reacts, and I feel it. I can't really explain it, but my body reacts to the chlorophyll. So that's the only thing I've ever noticed taking the different sea mosses. But other people are different. So I know people that they favor one over the other. And they tell you, you know, they'll tell me that, well, this one does this for me. So everybody's different. It, it reacts to everybody different. So you really have to try the different ones over a period of time, take notes and see what works for you. But the one thing we know at the end of the day, CMOS works. It's beneficial. It has tons and tons of health benefits. That is undisputed. So my thing I always tell people, don't stress over it. Um, just take it. Take it consistently excuse me, pay attention to yourself and just, just use it. You'll see the benefits of it. I do tell people, um, if you're starting off making the gel, I usually recommend people not using the Irish right away because it's a little bit different um, process to make. It's a little bit more difficult just getting the blending ratio with the water and, and, um, and, and the amount that you need. So for some people, that can be a little bit more difficult and it, it can throw you off and, may, and discourage you in the beginning. So I always steer them towards the other ones, the gold, the purple, the multi, um, to start off so they can get used to blending it and using it. So 
Um, but once you get used to the ratios of the water and how you like it, the consistency, it's not a problem. Um, so don't be afraid of it. Now, the sea moss, if you don't know, um, like I showed you, you soak it, you blend it, make it into the gel, and then it's good in, in the fridge for about a month. If you make too much, first of all, you don't have to blend all of it. You don't have to soak all of it. And if you if you do happen to have excess and you know you're not going to use it for a while, you can freeze the rest of it. So there's no real issues on, um, on, on you know, it, you can store it for a while. So also, I always let people know we have the SBB formula on Radar Plus Nutrition. So if you don't want to do the gel or you just need some more versatility, you can get it in capsule form. It's, it's sea moss, burdock, and bladder rack. So not only do you get the benefits of the sea moss, but you also get bladder rack, which is something, it's another seaweed similar to sea moss. And you get burdock root, which is like a blood, um, it's, it's a body detoxer. It purifies your blood, detoxes your body. It does a lot of good things. So you get these three powerful superfoods in one. It's even stronger than the sea moss by itself. You can take it with you. You can keep it in your bag and in, in your purse. You can keep it with you, take it on the go. And you get actually the full 102 minerals that your body needs versus when you get take the sea moss by itself, you're getting 92 minerals. Now, um, so it's, it's all these different ways to get these incredible nutrients in your body. And there's no real... There's no real excuse not to do what you got to do. You take the gel. You see, I take it by spoon. There's no issue. Put it in your coffee. Put it in your tea. Put it in soup. Put it in anything, and you're not going to taste it. So um, I just hope, wanted to clear some of that stuff up. Um, there's, there's some more questions, but I'm going to do that in another video. I don't want this video to be too long. But for everybody that's been using CMOS, if, if you go through the comments, if you go through... Um, the comments on the website on these different YouTube videos, you know, there's tons of people. I've done um, tons of testimonial videos on the channel. CMOS is incredibly powerful. It does a lot and it does different things for different people from ridding you of, of joint pain, helps your skin get better, improves your eyesight, helps you sleep better. Some people, it improves their mental health. It improves their, 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 their body function, their bowel movements, it detoxes them. It does so much stuff. It helps lower your blood pressure, um, helps with diabetes, all of these incredible things. There's no reason for you not to be incorporating this into your daily diet because you know, you're not, at the least, you know you're not getting 92 minerals in your diet. And you have all these different varieties that you can choose from, you know, based on what you need or what might work for you. So go to RadarPlusNutrition.com. Link is in the description. And start making the, you know, doing better for yourself. Start improving your health. Encourage your friends and your family to use it. Buy it for them as a gift. Share it with them. Make the gel for them and share it with them. Encourage people to be healthier. It is not hard. It is not difficult. It is not time consuming to care more about your health. Any other questions that you might have, leave it in the comment section. I'm going to start making more videos on these things because, like I said, even now, there's so many questions that I get and I'm answering rep repetitively. And I, I just can't keep up with all of them. But look, real quick before we sign off, I'm going to show you again. See, the, the, the sea moss is, is rehydrating. And you see it doesn't take long. So this is the gold. And you see how much you get. So this is just a small piece, but you see once it's rehydrated, you see how much it is. And then the Irish sea moss. So, you know, do what you got to do. Let's, let's start taking our health seriously. Um, like I said, RadarPlusNutrition.com, link in the description. Thanks for rocking with me. Until next time, stay focused, stay fit. Please hit that like button, show your support, definitely. Hit that notification bell and sign up for the email list on the website so you'll be alerted when we start doing these deals, these specials, and we release this new green sea moss. You're going to want to try that out. In the meantime, if you're, if you're unsure, okay, you can get on the, on the website, you can get a combo pack. It's called the Double Up. You can get the gold sea moss with the multi. Um, we're gonna be end up doing the green and, and 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 the gold at some point, or you can just get the full spectrum. The full spectrum, which we call the multi on the site, it's a combin it's a natural combination of all the different sea moss colors. You know what I'm saying? So you'll get all those different benefits from the phytonutrients that the pigment has, the the, the chlorophyll. All of that stuff, you'll get everything, all the different mixtures in one. So that you, you cannot go wrong. Get your CMOS, people. I can't stress this enough. I'm out of here. Salute.